Hello there, um, in today's video I'm going to be talking briefly about manual lip syncing in Toon Boom Animate. Um, Toon Boom does have an automatic uh, lip sync feature, but I always prefer to do it manually. That's for two reasons. One, I think it gives a better natural feel and look to the um, speech, but also two, um, I feel it helps you as an animator to understand speech better if you are doing it by, by hand, by scratch as such. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be showing you a basic, quick example of lip syncing manually. So here's my character of me, and I've drawn in my mouth shape. So if I just open up my rig, and then down here select this one. So over here we've got X shape, which basically means an open mouth or a non-speech mouth. And then if, if I drag along, you'll see that we've got the A shape, the E shape, an O shape, or O, and then W, which is a smaller version of the O. Um, and This mouth can be used as an S or a C, so it's like a S sound. This one's the M, M sound, and then we've got L, L, F, and then another X, just to kind of give a variety on the X shapes. Um, so once you've got your mouth shapes drawn in, um, or just so you know, I use the Preston Blair mouth shapes, or I used to use them, uh, as a basis for my mouth. So if you're unsure about which shapes to make, then check out the Preston Blair um, books from many, many years ago, or just look in a mirror and draw them from um, from, from yourself. Um, I've also, in after done that, I've included a little soundtrack, which is me um, saying this. Excuse me, um, have you seen my goldfish? Okay, so it's just me saying, excuse me, have you seen my goldfish? Um, so now I'm going to animate that very quickly for you. So that I'll just select these down here first and convert them to the first X shape. So we've got a nice, clean, clean palette to work from. So they're all the same now. Okay. So the first trick is, when you do mouth shapes, I always prefer to, to change the mouth one frame before it actually changes on the voice track. So for example, down here you can see this is where it starts. Um, but I like to change the mouth on this frame, so that gives so your eyes can kind of catch up with the mouth. So basically, just drag through your soundtrack and work out which mouth you require. So obviously I'm starting with excuse, so as an eh sound. So go through and find um, that I need an E. So on my first frame down here, the one, the one before it starts, I want to go through and pick my E shape. So eh, so excuse me. And there's a S there. So I'm going to find my S shape. X, Q, so I'll use, uh, use an O shape for that. Then drop it down to a, a smaller one to the W, excuse, and then S again. And then this is an M sound, so that's the flat one, and then me is an E. There we go. So let's just play that one for you. Excuse me. So that's looking. That's look, that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to change that one down to the S shape just to finish off that word. Excuse me. And then this is the erm. So again, start before it actually changes. Um, there we go. So ha is an A shape. Ha. V. That's a V. So that's F. So I'll move that one one closer, I think. And then U is O. That's an S. So there we go. So you better just go through like this working out what you need.
So there we go. So that is how quick it can be done. Obviously, it takes ex it takes experience. But the more you do it, the better it goes. So here we go. Excuse me. Um, have you seen my goldfish? So that's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Excuse me. Um, have you seen my goldfish? Um, so that's uh, basically lip, a manual lip syncing Toon Boom. Um, I will in, in, in the next video I'll be animating my character um, to go along with that saying. Um, so please join me again soon. Thanks.